guys, we've looked at a variety of different materials and we've talked about their different purposes. We've also looked at solids and liquids and we've talked about what makes them different. So what is a solid and what is a liquid? So today I've chosen a selection of solids and liquids and our learning intention is going to be to explore and compare the properties of solids and liquids using the sun. So we're actually going to take our solids and our liquids outside into the sun and we're going to see some similarities and some differences. So we're actually going to experiment and explore what happens to our solids and what happens to our liquids when they're placed outside in the sun. So I've chosen a selection of objects for us to use today. Now at home you can choose whatever you like. You don't need to choose the same things as me, but I've just tried to select a few things that I found around my home. Today I have chosen five different objects for us to experiment with. The first one being a tennis ball, which is a solid. A solid because it doesn't change its shape. It has a rigid shape and regardless of where I move it, it's going to stay round. I've also chosen a piece of wood, which is also a solid, has a very rigid shape. I've also chosen water as my liquid for today. We're going to see what happens if we place water out in the sun. And we're going to look at water in a couple of different ways today. I've also chosen to use some ice. Now ice is a solid because if I was to place it in different positions, it doesn't actually change its shape. However, think about what do you think might happen when I place ice out into the sun. I've also chosen butter, which is also a solid. Even though I can scoop the butter, it has a very rigid shape and if I was to place this down, it would keep a consistent shape. So a butter is also a solid object. So they're the five objects we're going to experiment with today. We're going to take them outside, we're going to place them in the sun and we're going to see what happens. Here we are outside. Now we're going to have a go at placing the glasses out in the sun on the driveway. We're going to make some observations of the glasses to see what happens when we leave the glasses out in the sun for a period of time. So as you can see, I've actually brought out two glasses of water and two glasses of ice. Now we're going to have a go at tipping one of the glasses of water out and spreading it out on the ground. And we're going to tip out one of the glasses of ice to see if it helps something to happen to the ice. All right, so we're speeding up the time now. As you can see, they've been sitting outside for a little while and you can see the ice has melted. The water has started to evaporate and eventually the ground is all dry again. So let's pick these up and we'll take them back inside and have a closer look. Okay, we're back inside. Let's place these back out on the counter and then we can have a closer look at what the sun has done to our objects. So let's have a look at our tennis ball first. Nope, no changes here. Looks exactly the same, hasn't changed shape at all. Now let's look at our water. Hmm, not much has changed here either. Looks exactly the same. Now let's take a closer look at our butter. As we can see, the sun has started to melt the butter so we have some solid butter and some liquid butter. And now we have our ice. As you can see, not all of the ice has melted, but it has started melting. I wonder why this ice didn't melt and yet the ice on the ground did. And lastly, our wood. Well, it's just wood. It looks exactly the same. So now it's your turn. Go and choose some objects, place them in the sun and see what happens to them. Good luck.